Okay guys, so I'm in the backyard here again and uh, doing a bit more work off the tailgate of my truck. And uh, you guys remember this grimy old uh, Toyota crankshaft, which is pretty much fit for the scrapyard. Well, today I've got a connecting rod here also. And I'm going to show you guys one of the most common mistakes that a guy can make when disassembling an engine. So the video before this one was about backyard crankshaft polishing. And I polished up that journal there right on the tailgate here. Well, today I'm going to show you guys if you disassemble an engine and you don't cover up the rod bolts as that piston slides out of the block, it's very easy for that rod bolt to put some damage on uh, the side of that crank. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to purposely damage this crank and I'm going to put a nick in the journal and I'm going to show you guys one backyard method that can be used to uh, save the day. All right, so let's say some guy, he's in the backyard there, he's disassembling his engine, and uh, he didn't cover up the rod bolts like what I was talking about. And as he's uh, tapping the, the piston and rod assembly out of the block, he, uh, by mistake, the rod slaps around and puts a little nick in that journal. Okay, so now what? All right, well, hey, you know, I'm going to give you guys a chance to figure out what tool I'm going to use to fix that right here in the backyard off the tailgate of my truck. So uh, if you had to pick, what do you think I'm going to pick here? I got, I got, a, I got a hammer with a, uh, a flat nose punch. I got some uh, emery cloth here. I got a file. I got uh, a little uh, die grinder here with a, uh, with a sanding disc on it. You guys give that some thought. I'm going to wait right here while you're thinking about that. It's the file. Well, I'm going to guess that most of you guys selected the emery cloth, but I'm going to show you guys what the problem is with that. So let's say we're looking at part of a crankshaft journal here. Let's say it's like really big and the dent in the crankshaft is right here. But you see the thing is steel doesn't like to compress. And if you put a down spot in the crankshaft here, it's going to create raised parts beside it. See that? The little bumps there. So if you take emery cloth and you just you know, you just work it there with your thumb and you're just trying to, you're trying to sand these high spots down. What's going to happen is you're also going to be removing material beside the raised spot. So this will become lower as this becomes lower. So the idea is not to remove unnecessary material from the crankshaft. So this trick I'm going to show you guys, it actually works like, you know, on uh, any shaft, Let's say you got a bearing and it won't come off because you got some damage to the shaft. Take the file, and the file is only going to knock off the high spots. And because the shaft is smooth beside it, the file, it can't really grab that crankshaft to damage it. It's just going to attack the high spots, and that's it. So when I take this file, and I put it on part of the crankshaft that's not damaged, See, I can't feel it really grabbing. It's not really doing anything. But if I move it over top of the damaged area, it's going to find those high spots and knock them off there. So you can see the journal looks really good, and that damaged spot is right here. You can still see the low spots, but the file has knocked off the high spots like the rest of it. It still looks nice. I mean, from here, a guy could still do a bit of polishing on it like I did in my other video. So this isn't perfect. I mean, this isn't like a high-end repair. You know, if you want it really nice, take it to the machine shop, let them fix it up, spend the money. Yeah. Yeah, high spot is gone now. 
maybe a little bit more. I'm just gonna sand that up a bit. So I've got some 600 wet sandpaper here. And using a bit of WD-40 on it. Let's have a look here. So now it becomes usable because the high spot is gone. But uh, the only thing is it's, it's not a mint shaft anymore, but I mean, depending on application, it would uh, likely do the job. So here when I was working with this journal and uh, the file, I was very light with the pressure. Here I was a little bit more aggressive to get the job done. And uh, so what I'm showing you guys here, it's not a fix for all damaged shafts. I mean, uh, some, some damage will be irreparable. If you're uh, going to do some repairs like this, you might want to bring it to uh, an experienced guy that uh, can have a look at the damage because not all damage is exactly the same and uh, different applications require different uh, precision. But I'm just showing you guys some backyard tricks here. Might come in handy sometime. So on rods like this, I like to put these kind of caps on there. Just give them a squeeze and then they just slide right over and that will protect that crankshaft as that rod slides out. 